It is taking me way too long to get this face together. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back for another video or welcome if this is your first time joining us. This is I think my first house project video, like full on house project. So we are prepping the patio, is that the patio? Yeah, the patio to get closed in with screens and it'll have a door and everything. I have really been wanting this for a long time, but I want to save up for it because it is not cheap. And I wanted to do it the right way. So we are cleaning it completely off right now. Cleaning off all the furniture and kind of putting it away until they're done. They told me they needed about three days maybe. Maybe. Maybe just two. And then I'm going to put all of that area together. Make it look really nice. Um, so that I can enjoy it outside. Cole can enjoy it outside. Guests can enjoy it. My grandpa really loves sitting back there. But it gets so dusty. The birds stay on my furniture and like spider webs bugs all of that so we want to avoid all of that so we're cleaning all that off right now like i said this is the first official video all right so this is where we are at we cleaned off the fans moved cole's toys and junk I dusted these off but I'm not gonna get like detailed detailed cleaning until they're completely done because this space is still gonna be open while they're working went ahead and cut the yard I'm about to treat it with this stuff right here and then um, yeah just really getting the space clean I'm gonna treat it also like this area I'm gonna treat with bug spray and probably just go ahead and do the rest of the house since I'm out here anyways and already sweaty <laughs> See the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and the get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. All right, so it's like nine o'clock at night. I just made it home, and this is day one. So far, so good. The only thing I'm like a little concerned about is the bottom of this, and I think I have to ask them that because I want to make sure that that like doesn't let stuff in I'm sure they're not done with it but it's hard to see on camera but like there's nothing under the door so like stuff can still blow in and crawl in but so far it looks really nice this is so nice oh that's so exciting So it is Sunday afternoon. Cole just went down for a nap. And this morning earlier, I went to at home Big Lots and Walmart because we were looking for stuff for the patio because it is finally done. Um, they had to do a few things to it. So I'm going to show you. Um, so now I have to re-clean it because it took so long to get that done. But yeah, we're finally ready to finish that project up. I want to be done. I want to enjoy it now. All the projects that I started before school even started because it's been crazy and I haven't been able to finish it. So yeah, while he is sleeping, I want to get out here and like dust it off and sweep and clean it again because I have the stuff in my mom's trunk that I want to put out here and my chairs are still in the garage. Like my whole house is in uproar. So let me show you all this real quick. So as you can see, I need to re-clean because they put this door up, but when I opened it, it opened out to the grass and it kept getting stuck. And so down here, like it wouldn't swing because it swung out that way and like it wouldn't open. So they came and they took it down and they put it back together with the door on this side. But that meant all of this that was on the outside is now dirty. And so I need to clean that off. Then it rained. And so I need to clean this off. Just sweep it all out. Respray for bugs. So it's not terrible. I just want to start fresh. I want to get all the junk and trash out. Blow it off. Rinse it off. Um, and then I'm going to measure again. Because I measured last night to put a rug out here. 
um, but I want to measure again because I got a 7 by 10 rug. This whole space, like the length of it is 15, like a little over 15. I don't want a rug for the whole space. And then it's not very wide. It's like seven and a half feet wide. So yeah, I'm going to see if the rug I got works. I just found one a bit lot, surprisingly. When I went to at home, they didn't have the colors that I wanted. And we just randomly stopped by Big Lots and they had the color I wanted, the size. So I'm going to try it out. I'm going to get the space cleaned off and get it set up. We have been ripping and running all day. Excuse how I look. But we had a rug. We had to take it back because it was too wide. It was long how we wanted it, but too wide. So this is where we're at. So this is the rug we ended up with. And it's because this is just under seven and a half feet wide by from the door. Over there from the door all the way to this wall was like a little over 15 and there unless I customize a rug there was just no rug so I went with a six uh, foot I think it's six foot seven inch by nine foot and I like this color because it kind of goes with the color of the chairs so this is where we're at right now I hope y'all can hear me because the fans are going um, but yeah, this is where we're at. We're putting together the Ottomans and I'm trying to decide like what else I'm trying to decide like how else I could do this or what else I could put in this space. I thought about putting some faux trees like in the corners just to give it some greenery. And then I am going to get a rug to go at least right here in front of the door. I had one, but it was brown and old and dirty. Um, and then maybe just some little accent pillows for the chairs. And I found one ottoman, but I couldn't find another that matched it. So we will see. Hey y'all. Okay. So we're like on day 5,957 of trying to get my little patio fixed up. It should not have taken this long, but... I just kept running into setback after setback and I'm trying to do too many projects and I have this idea that I can do everything and I can't. So this morning I woke up early. Yesterday I went shopping for the last time. Like we are finishing this project today. So let me show you where we're at. I went to at home, bought some more things and we're wrapping this up today. So I decided to put one of these in the corner over here and we're just going to decorate this space and just make it, you know, kind of cutesy. We got a rug, we got some greenery to go out here to really fix up the space. So yeah, it, it, it's time to get this together. honestly embarrassed by how long it took me to just put this little space together but it's together okay it is finally together so we are here we are finally at the completion point completion for now so this whole house to home series I really like wanted to focus on one space at a time and make it feel more homey um and something I've learned in the process is that you're gonna forever be filling the space right you're gonna forever be looking for pieces because you're not gonna find everything all at once at least I can't find everything all at once so I had to admit defeat the space is done I like how it is right now it is cozy we love it out here um my son tries to get out here every day and I like it because I can just leave the door open like this and let him go in and out because there's another door there so I can keep a close eye on him I can open the blinds from the living room and see him and he just does his thing it's become like a toy thing sanctuary um, I'm gonna do some light cleaning really quick and then I'm gonna show you the final product
happy with how the space came together so far there's still more that I want to do like in the corner where the tree is uh, we had talked about like against that wall putting another like couch or chair out here because there's only two seating areas with the two ottomans um, and my grandma gave me the idea she was like why don't you put like an ice box out there not necessarily like a refrigerator but like some sort of like cooler where you could put like drinks in and have it on ice out here so if people are over you have drinks outside they'll have to keep coming back and forth inside definitely want to add some more decor but like i like the base and this honestly took me so long like i am not a decorator like this definitely showed me all that goes into decorating and but i had fun i absolutely had fun doing this space and I'm ready to like keep making my house a home. All my decorators out there, comment down below, let me know how I can judge up the space a little bit. I did leave the corner blank behind me. It just has that table and the lantern. That is a timed one, by the way. It is a timer. I did leave this space open because that's where the toys end up. So my mom's like, you gotta leave him a corner. It's so like, that's his space over there. I'm thinking about getting like a wicker basket to put over there so that he can put some toys in there that he wants to play with out here. Um, sorry about the noise but yeah I'm gonna keep adding to the space I'll keep y'all updated in future vlogs with how we change out the space I had this blanket here for the fall I'll probably put one Christmassy out here and I also want like pillows for the chairs but I haven't found any that I really really love that kind of blend well with the rug but yeah leave me some ideas down below and then for those of you who aren't decorators like me I hope this gave you a little bit of inspiration just to have fun with your space and try out you know try your hand at decorating and see what you can make of it so our next house to home project is my office space and you've probably already seen it I just recently like these two spaces kind of finished at the same time so I would so I'm going to show you that as well and if you're curious about any of the things I purchased and what links I will put it in the description down below it'll also be linked on my LTK which is in the description down below so yeah I'll see you all in the next video <laughs>